to seven, and I know uh, Coach heading into this game, Stanford is not the favorite kind of team to play because of their pass happy offense. But how did you feel about your team as you got ready to play the season? Open? Well, we we were very concerned about John Pay, their fine quarterback. Uh, we played, of course, the Stanford group in 1980 <laughs> here. You know, everyone talked about that. that. It was going to rain yesterday, and it was going to be the history repeats itself. Right. A great quarterback. All the ingredients to, were there. Right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, people forget what happened in the 1980 season. They always talk about, well, what Stanford did to us, but they don't, they forgot that we went on one Big Eight Conference <laughs> Championship and defeated Florida State in the Orange yeah. Bowl, won the Orange Bowl Championship. I've forgotten that. That's right. You always remember those defeats, but that's the, that team ended up <laughs> with a pretty good record. Uh, we were con very concerned, and I, I didn't want to play a team like, I always hate to play a, a team that's that pass happy in the opening ball game, but our defense did an outstanding job, and and except for the opening drive, yeah. and they, we kick off with the wind. Uh, they won the toss, won the ball, and and we and they fumbled the football there. We recover it, but uh, uh, they said he was down, so they start out at their own 29-yard line. And right away, Robbie, he comes out gunning and drop back flood route, to three out pattern, and he throws a strike on a 19-yard out route to the receiver. Email Harry. Harry. Email Harry. They're all American candidate, and they go flood week, and they do the same thing, and hit him again on this boundary, 40 yards and two downs. Uh, so now they run a dive play with motion. They thought we'd drop her in, and this isn't a fair test for our defense uh, versus the rush. We're ready to defend the pass, and uh, we had four backs out here now. Tupper stands there and make the play. Then after this drive, we started playing five and six defensive backs in the ball game. We got a Freshman defensive end sucked inside. You know this guy's got good foot speed. John, John Pay. Pay can run pretty good. That was a good scramble out the backside. Uh, we don't play very well against the run here. We're, you know, Thinking anticipating pass, the right? pass. And he's already thrown 40 <laughs> yards and strike, and they overthrow the guy right there. Stands very in pretty good coverage. And uh, they run the reverse here, and I think they have a penalty. They put this right. and need a little better support there. Freshman cornerback, come up, take him on. <laughs> Andre. And they swing past bootleg, get the tight end across the man to man, and kick the man's on there. Seven yard touchdown pass from Pay to Greg Batty. Made it look easy yeah, right there. Yeah, boy, it didn't take long. 71 yards and nine plays. They had the point after. And uh, just a little over two minutes gone in the game, and Stanford's out in front, 7 nothing. But uh, well, they didn't do over. a whole lot after that. It's all over after that. They got uh, one third of the yardage on that one drive in two minutes. We fumbled the football. Muffet, uh, there's a freshman. There's Buster all upset because he told Doe Lydell not to bring it out. And that's one of the things that freshman uh, mistakes we do. And we covered that before, before the ball game. I said, Muffet, down it in the end zone. And we come out the first play and hand the ball off to Lydell. On an option play, the tackle played such that uh, we handed the football off. There's a good running by Earl Johnson on the sweep play. We line up wishbone two tights. Uh, we run the option play. And Danny ducks up for good yardage, good quickness for about five or six yards. If the viewers are looking for Spencer Tillman, he did not play Saturday because of injury. Same thing. Earl's blocking too high. Good block. We get a first down. Boy, it's going to be good to study this film. We'll get a lot of good out of this thing. Really help us. Motion out of Steve Sewell, out of wishbone with bootleg. First pass of the season. Hit the tight end. Freshman <laughs> Keith Jackson. Yeah. In Little Rock, Arkansas, Parkview High School, the number one player in the state of Arkansas. And there's a couple over there this year we want to get to come here and beat your roommate. <laughs> Look at that there's catch, though. Keith is Keith an outstanding Jackson. athlete to, for a freshman. He's 6'3", about 245, runs 4'6". He's an excellent player. And option play, good job there. Lydell taking on the full the tackle, and Danny comes off of it. And options uh, with his quickness and speed. Picked up six, and now it's... We're going to throw the football. We're going to try to throw a strike. And overthrows uh, pretty good coverage to Stanford right there on Buster and their cornerback running with him. Third and nine now. We took a shot at it. we we'll throw a slant. Kept, uh, Eric finish. Price got his hand on it, intended for Derek Shepard. So OU has to punt. And Mike Winchester did an excellent job yesterday kicking the football. All right. Super job. 42-5. Yesterday hung him up high. Great hang time. So we came out and threw twice then. People have been wanting to throw the football. Right. We threw second. The, only, the bad thing about it, they're incomplete. It's great <laughs> if you complete them. Yeah. But we took shots to try to get a big play in the passing game. And we had two incompletions. We had to punt the football. I talked to Mac on the phone. I said, golly, he always second guess and said, well, I wish we'd run them both two times. You can't do that. You've got to do them both. 
They run reverse, the uh, wing back reverse, out of the spread set, one back set, wing back, three out pattern. You get a force scramble, you get a break down, make tackle the guy. He just did barely make the first down. He slid in there. Dizzy would say slut in there, right? Mm -hmm. Safe at so third. Slant, good coverage there. We play good pass defense from here on. We've got a four-man line. We got, and we bring uh, Tony Raven. It's a great rush for Tony. Strong safety, an outside blitz. We got all exci excited about it. Millwood speedster. You know this guy ran a 4-4-40. We timed him with Buster. He beat Buster in a 40-yard dash one day out there. Well, it didn't take him long to get the pay. And now uh, Stanford's going to have to punt the football here. Pay throws to the swing man, the fullback out of the back. The big, strong fullback. He's a tough runner right there. He punishes their defensive backs and picks up pretty good yards on their swing pass. And they, but they've got to punt the ball because there's a loss Rayburn put on them and blitz. Punts it into a win. Pretty good punt. Shepard fielding. I don't think anybody wanted a fair catch yesterday. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, they both wanted to come back with it. So the Sooners start at their own 28. Option. That's good job to Danny. Mm -hmm. Good speed and quickness. Danny got tired yesterday. Got hot, but Danny did some good things for us. Well, he carried it 30 times. He ought to get tired. Well, that's what he wanted to do. He's got it now. Some guy called in to me. You know, Danny put the ball away right then. He on my show yesterday, mm -hmm. which you were with me, and says, you know, he carries it like a watermelon out there one hand. There's Big Glide Dell, the freshman from Enid, Oklahoma. Makes a good 15-yard gain to midfield there. But uh, it's hard to pitch the ball running the option play with the thing stuck under your armpit. You've got to have it in your hand like that because he might pitch the halfback. He put it away before he made contact. The danger is someone hitting you from behind you can't see. As long as the quarterback sees the people in front of him, he's going to put the ball away when he's tackled. Good, tough run in there by Earl Johnson, who's had to play for Spencer Tillman. Earl's been practicing fullback all year. Hand off to Big Lydell. I think they said he weighed 195 in the program. He's a 210-pound back. He runs tougher than that. Who, Earl? Is 210? No, I'm talking Lydell. about Lydell. Lydell. Okay. Someone said he hit him. Pitch the ball to Earl. It's supposed to have been handed, Danny. That's 46. And he pitched the old Earl. Surprise, girl, but he caught the ball. That's, Picked up that's four. a hand power play. Danny here put the ball away. Danny, good job of running. Just on the guy on the option play into the boundaries. Wing set, and we run the trap play. Good, tough running to Lydell. Boy, that offensive line coach is doing a great job. You're picking up five and six yards every snap. Well, right here, Danny, oh, bad pitch. Whoops. He pitches the ball. It, uh, Earl, I mean, we lost seven yards on that play. Just a bad pitch, but if it's a good pitch, we get uh, Sewell a long run. Yeah. I mean, he still, he, like Max said, he'd be running until he's tired. The quarterback <laughs> couldn't. We run a sprint, draw, a quarterback draw, and he picks up about seven yards back what we lost on the, the poor pitch outs. First game, those things can happen. We'll get better. We'll get better from this team. Good block to Sewell, split him, Danny, quick with speed. Now, let me tell you, I don't know if we had another quarterback that kind of quickness of speed to put the ball in the end zone that run. Uh, you're right. You're right. So we forgive you, Danny, on the poor pitch out. <laughs> But don't let it happen again. The first touchdown of the year for the Sooners, a 12-yard run by Danny Good Bradley. Sewell. I tell you, we've got to center the nose guard to tackle the fullback line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job of scooping the nose guard. Earl Johnson keeps Danny from going out of bounds. Lasher adds the point after. And now we're all tied. A 72-yard drive in 12 plays, and it's all tied Oklahoma 7, Stanford 7. Pretty impressive drive, Coach. Bradley looks so comfortable in that option. I know he's an option quarterback, but boy, he sure did look smooth on that. Well, we track. recruited Danny as an option quarterback from Pine Bluff uh, years, uh, several years ago, four years ago, I guess, to be exact. Payback hits a re release uh, fullback out of the backfield. Good tackle there by Bosworth, 44, freshman linebacker. I think we started six freshmen on defense yesterday. Pretty good defense. And, you know, we didn't get to, both linebackers were freshmen, the defensive ends are freshmen, cornerback freshmen. Uh, and you start two offensive freshmen. Right. Stanford has to punt the ball away. The punter is from Putnam City in Oklahoma City. Mike, <coughs> excuse me, Mike Doug. Robinson. Is, is it Doug Robertson? Doug, right. Doug Robertson. Good punt. Tough, tough run to Lydell here. Picks up four, and that ends the first quarter. Oklahoma Sooners seven, Stanford seven. We'll be back.
So we start the second quarter. Oklahoma has the football second and six from the Stanford 47. Lydell Carr. Ooh, big he stops from play. We hand the ball to the fullback. And Lydell gets about 11 yards for first and 10. Uh, we come back uh, first and 10 play. And we go Lydell back to the split. And this is ice slow-mo here. Good job of blocking the offensive line there over picket. And safety doesn't make the play. Lydell makes the long run. Lydell's got good speed. And he can score from anywhere on the field. We hand the ball to Lydell and bounces outside. Stiff arms up down and gets about six, seven yards. Carr had 73 yards on the day. Double set, throw in the flat, first down. Back out of the backfield. A stiff, uh, Earl, a little stiff leg. Of his, he's got tendonitis, his legs bottom. Hit Buster, and he's got to catch it. Buster, but another first down. See, we'd love it, we catch it. <laughs> but now we're second long because of it. Option play, we fumble the football, stop ourselves. They haven't stopped us, we stop ourselves, right? That's correct. That's right. That's, these are the things that hopefully we can correct. See, we stopped ourselves right there. And I'll show you some things later on that, it, you know, I've really encouraged you some of the things we did. We looked like a pretty good offensive football team sometimes, and I think Stanford's a better football team this year than we were a year ago. Oh, much improved. There's a freshman linebacker making the play, Dante Jones, 50. There's someone coming free. We did a great job of coverage him. See, we're only rushing four people, and uh, had five or six defensive backs in there. I can't remember. Who Look at Casillas. That's Tony Casillas. Gets good the play. Hand on. Oops. Good play. Good play with Tony. Darrell Reed, Reed, freshman in. 40 piling on. Robinson has to punt again. He's got the wind at his back now and doesn't hit a very good punt. Short punt caught to Sonny Brown. The up back. We run the option play. Good job of blocking Steve Sewell. Gets knocked down on the play. But it's a fine run by Danny Bradley. And there's Spencer old Spencer Tony. over there coaching. Coaching Dodd. <laughs> <laughs> We've been coaching Dodd for a long time, too. Ready to go, Spence. Second and two from the Sooner 47. Got a hamstring has been by me. Oh, Danny fumbled a football right there. Automatic and, and second one. That was a second one down. It's not a percentage play, so it's third and uh, two now. We fumbled. We got hit in the backfield. We don't convert. We stopped ourselves. That wasn't percentage play. We should have had a first down there instead of automatic and backing out and dropping the ball. Things we'll learn from that. Danny can automatic to certain things in the passing game. Uh, but the down and distance factor has got to be involved. And it has to be a percentage play, <clears throat> and that wasn't. That series right there. So it's the two series here, we stopped ourselves offensively. And Stanford and goes back on offense. With the penalty, there was a dead ball foul there. So Stanford starts at their own 30. Now it's second and five from the 35. That right there isn't a test of the defense. We get it next week when strong Pittsburgh offensive line and running attack comes at us. Ball's batted up by Ricky Bryan, 86. Not no. Ricky, that's Steve <laughs> Bryan. I've been saying Ricky for years, man. That's Steve, his brother. He's a it's sophomore. It's understandable, though. <laughs> another, another fellow from Tater Hill. I thought both Oklahoma. your tackles played well, Bryan and Tupper. Well, I, we haven't, I haven't been able to study the film, you know, and we'll look at that. There was a defensive group staff to be looking at this morning. It was a good play defense there. Bryan Hall, Rockford, number two. And a four-man rush, seven defend. Ball batted away again. Tommy Good Clemens job. got his hand on that Good one. Good job to Tommy, 93, senior defensive tackle. Tommy's gained 20 pounds this year. He weighs 265. He's up uh, 20 over what he was a year ago. Robinson punts again, one of nine punts on the day. Good Stanford. coverage. Good coverage for Stanford. Uh, we get the ball at the 11-yard line and start out four field position. Second down and nine now, wishbone. Option play, not a very good block stool, but we'll take it. And Danny scoops through him for a 15-yard gain. See, Danny's done some bad things, but he's done some good things, too. So, you know, so we'll get eliminate those others and keep him doing those things right there. There you go, Danny. Just outrun those guys. Another first. Danny's got excellent speed. He's got a... He's got a, uh, a trap play. We guessed wrong on the head. Let his stun it a lot inside. Brought the linebackers and... Danny right here. Come on, Sue. We've got to do a better job of blocking. And Danny another first. Good drive going here. You know, they got a great quarterback at Danny's high school. He made about a yard there. I had, uh, Charlie North been overseas a couple times already. I think I'll go see this weekend. And Bradley gets down. tripped up there, so now third it's third down, and 12. Throw the ball. Throw it. Going to a split receiver, tried to hit the tight end on the crossing route. So we got to punt the football after making two or three first downs in the option game. 
Good kick into the wind, boy. He boomed that one really good, Mike, and hung it up there into the wind. 37 yards That's into the wind. That's a good kick, but the hang time was great. Forced a fair catch, and that was a key thing. So Stanford has to start with bad field position at their own 14, but Morris picks up 12. So there's now at the 26. Good defense to see us up front. There's bootleg, there's hitting the Reed, hits him from behind. That's a bad Murphy. sandwich to get in there. Murphy and Reed, take another look at it. Murphy's great player. Murphy's a All-American, Reed a redshirt freshman. Good defense, come defense. They're missing Bosworth, missing Dante. Well, they had a long defense way to back. go, third and 15, so Stanford has to punt again. Punt the football. And here's Shep. Little Shepard coming up the middle. So Oklahoma starts from their own 39. There's Danny Gooden avoiding rushing. Buster's reaching his big plane up there to catch the football. Pick up of 33 yards. So we had two possessions. We stopped ourselves. I think offensively, one by a fumble and one by uh, the uh, automatic in whom we shouldn't have. The last possession, they stopped us after making two or three first downs. Now, this possession, Danny, we take a loss here. The option play, misread the defense. Now we're going to throw again. Throw the strike to Buster. Come on, camera work. Come on, camera work. <laughs> He's Buster, down. No Buster would be upset to miss that. Oh, we get him ISO here. Okay. Take a good look at it right now. Buster Rhymes started the day as the eighth all-time leading pass receiver in OU history. Come Moved back to the number ball, seven. Buster. Out there in your hands and catch it. Keep your feet and go score. Good job, Buster down. Rhymes. Pick up of 18. First down. Real tough running. You see the they clock ticking down there, there in the right hand side seconds. of the screen. Hey, that's a good job, man. Oh, we the best to block. And he gets there and gets what he can. 50 seconds left. Only Option got one get time first out down, left Danny. Left he got the first. First and ten at the five. First Stop and goal the at the five. On the trap. There's Clone. Eight seconds. Good block through. Good pitch at Earl. Speed in zone touchdown. Four seconds. And uh, right out the ramp. Right out the gate. <laughs> good Earl job Johnson. there. Tight end. a good job blocking Keith Jackson there. Pitches at the right time to Earl Johnson, who gets his first touchdown of the 84 season. With just four seconds left, another sellout crowd of more than 75,000 watched Tim Lasher miss the extra point. So Oklahoma scores with just four seconds left in the half. Sooners out in front of Stanford, 13 to 7. That was a good drive there. We kicked a uh, squib kick on the line. Clock starts uh, when the ball touches someone, hits one of those linemen. We don't figure a lineman can run it back against us, so uh, the clock runs out. And we're at halftime. Oklahoma out in front of Stanford, 13 to 7. It's the season opener. We'll be back in just a minute. We're at halftime with the Sooners out in front of Stanford, 13 to 7. And with the exception of that opening drive, um, Coach, the defense has, has played well. What other adjustments did you make other than using that six back, uh, six defense? Well, that's really the only thing we did. You know, after the first drive, they hit the two. We were playing three deep coverage, and we went to, with our four backs in the ball game. So we went to our five and six uh, back defense, and uh, that was able to take that route away from them. And so we uh, mixed up some rushes and uh, coverages and were able to contain them. Uh, I think that. Uh, uh, one thing we were able to do is make him throw in rhythm, even though we rushed three and four most of the time. We, he didn't, he wasn't able, John wasn't, Tay wasn't able to hold the ball a long time against us, which uh, if any quarterback does, and I don't care how many defensive backs you got out there, they're going to get open, they're going to hit him with the football. But uh, we did a good job. They completed 50% of the passes, they completed one, 21 out of 40 in the ball game. But we knew that going into the ball game, they would do that. Uh, well, you had uh, said that you had planned on giving up like 200 or 225 right. yards through the air, you just hope that they weren't touching. As long as they weren't throwing deep behind us, and uh, we were able to prevent that. Uh, I think our defense played well, but again here, I haven't studied the film. We just saw the ball game, and we have to watch each individual player over and over over again and evaluate him, and and, uh, and it's really not the type of test that uh, we're going to have to win championships, because to win championships, you've got to play great against the rush, 
obviously you're always going to play good against the pass. But uh, as I've said, Pittsburgh will be a, a very good test next week. We will have an idea of what our defense can play to next week. Okay. Sooners out in front at halftime by six. We're getting ready for the start of the third quarter. We'll be back in just a minute. So we start the third quarter. Stanford has to kick off to the Sooners. Back on offense. We take the ball in the second half, and we, they kick it uh, into the end zone, out of the end zone. If that ball had gone another five yards, it would have been at the 30-yard line for us. New Ooh. rule change. I don't like a tough running by Earl. Good swarm in defense, second and six. Earl on the power play, we slot into the boundary, and the ball to big, strong Lydell Carr for 15 yards. Pretty First good freshman. Down. Pretty good freshman back. We're in a one-back set, and hand the ball to Big Glidell again. Looks like wishbone of old. Used to have some fullbacks to run like that, <laughs> Kenny King, and, and uh-oh. Pick, oh, you dropped the ball, fool, pick it up. And you know what? They call, here's officials, blew this. They call it incomplete forward pass. I'll tell you what, that easy. upsets me. <laughs> if officials cannot recognize the difference in running plays and passing plays, they ought not be officiating this league. I'll say that. That was an option play, pitches the ball back. Hits his hands, he drops on the ground. If they had recovered the thing, it'd been their ball. There's a lateral backwards. He called it a forward pass. Now, should I be upset? Was that a forward pass? <laughs> well, no, it's an option play. No. They hadn't seen the wishbone in a long time. We, we used to do that all the time. We used to bounce them on the ground, pick them up, and run with them. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to re-educate them to the wishbone, right? Kevin Murphy got a hand on that one and tipped it to linebacker Brian Bosworth. And Oklahoma comes up with a turnover. Go score with it. That was the first play of Stanford's second half. Good Murphy job. gets Murphy his hand on it. Murphy, a great play. He knocks one down later on. It didn't complete a big play. So Bosworth gets Oski. Murphy helps credit. Good block to Sewell there. Danny turn up. Tough running. It's up four. Danny had a pretty good workout. 90 yards the first half. Uh, we don't block that very well. Earl, maybe for the first. Back in line scrimmage, yeah, not one no back from no game. Daniel, an option play. Look at that point. Speed down to what? About the 18 yard line. Daniel's got great speed. Picks up seven. Rushed 30 times, picked up 100 yards on the day. Had 40 yards and losses, though. So mm -hmm. you get some yeah, he actually had 135 yards on the day. Well, handed the ball to Lydell. He would have. Hit a gash there. Danny sees a gash, and he's going to go get it. Pretty good job in linebacker. 47 is a good player. So the Sooners have it. Two tights. First down. Steve Sewell. Good job of running, Steve Sewell. You know, our offensive line yesterday, we, our offense had only two penalties in the ball game yesterday. And most of those offensive linemen played all day. Now, they were tired. We were tired. We had the... Dillingham had an illegal procedure penalty at the line of scrimmage. A uh, trap play of the tough running freshman there. Uh, because of Danny's snap count, there was a problem with Danny's snap count. And the other one was the delay of game, but Danny let the clock run out. some 25 second delay of game. So we had two of those. The rest of them, four penalties was with the defensive end. Oklahoma had a total of six penalties for 50 yards. But unlike Danny, last Danny, year, Danny, and the ball, hand the ball off, and we score. Bootlegged the ball, second down and two from the two-yard line. Those penalties didn't come at critical situations, no, though, like they did last year. That, those are things right there we can correct. We can correct what he did right there. Good job of running, Danny. Second and two at the goal line. We ended up, up third four. and eight, and now we're going to kick the field goal. Here Here comes comes touchdown, see? That's why I'm not that disappointed. Robbie, I'm really not, because Danny bootleg, and, and Danny has the option. He thinks the bootleg's there any time upfield off the power play. When we got all back blasting off, if we got a short corner over there, the defense is reduced, we can run him on the bootleg. We do it against ourselves, and he picks up six, seven, eight yards, breaks an open field to make a bootleg. Do you think second down and two from the goal line is the percentage play, the bootleg there? No, it's not. And Danny did it, and that's things I know we can correct. Well, he said it himself after the ball game that he learned a lot from that ball game. Should have had a touchdown. We planned that off the Earl. We've blown the end zone. We've had 20 points then. Well, they got a 21-yard field goal from Tim Lasher, so now it's 16-7, to and Stanford is back on offense and not having much success. Payback. We had uh, deep, good, deep coverage. 
Good job of defense there. Sonny Brown. That's a good job. Good pass defense. Sonny doesn't have great speed, but he's got good instincts in the ball. He had a knee operation this spring, summer, and uh, just now recovering from it. Darryl Shepard catching on the run toward coverage. And he's a there, fella. So the Sooners start from the 44. Do a better job blocking up front. I think everybody's... They sure did a lot tired. of bouncing around on defense, didn't they? Stanford. They to blitzed run a lot. They, 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 they just gambled a lot. They were really... Uh, Merv Johnson? Yeah, I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you made a comment about that a while ago. Well, I mean... Better to turn gray and turn loose, though. <laughs> Here we go, Lydell, oh, that hey. stuff up in the middle. That's Jerome Ledbetter. Lydell got Bell wrong. He had to come out and hand the ball to Jerome in automatic. And there's Earl hitting it up in there tough. Good job of running, Earl. Johnson had 48 yards on the day and 12 carries, so that's an average of four a pop. That's not bad. Earl, strong, tough runner. With great speed. Picks up six. Just a sophomore. Had a limp there. His knee bothers him. Come on, pick it, get you one, wall it off. Put your hat on somebody. Good stuff running. Johnson again. Sooners had 258 yards on the ground. Sewell jumping over people. He fight Sewell. Inside the 20. Ooh, what a hit. That's good effort, isn't it? Sure is. Bradley maintained his balance. He ended up picking up two yards on that. A lot, of, a lot of punishment for two yards. Danny's a little guy, too, and he's got to be in great shape. Pretty durable. He played almost every game last year. got to do a better job. Didn't pick up anything there, so Lasher comes on again. It's his second field goal of the season. This one a 32-yarder into the win. 40-yard drive, seven plays. Sooners out in front of Stanford now, 19 to seven. Last year was six of 15 in the field goal department last year. Two for two to start the 84 season. Oklahoma kicks off, leading 19 to seven. It'll be about 23 to 24 to seven right now. Didn't take advantage of scoring opportunities. Stanford starts at their own 17. Good defense. Jeff Tucker. 20 to six. And two. Still fired up. Evan Gatewood in there, another young linebacker. Boy, all your linebackers are freshmen and sophomores, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Good players. That's Casillas. Tupper. Tupper and Casillas on the tackle. Loss of two, second and 12 now. Good coverage. Short passing game. We'll give them those routes. Mm -hmm. Third and seven. Four man rush. Good coverage here, Brian Hall. Five defensive backs in there. Oh, look at that. Great enthusiasm. I mean, aggressive defense, just like you talked about at the beginning of the year. Young, but aggressive defense. Brian David, Hall. David Vickers, 10. Freshman from Tulsa. Take another look at it. Pray gets some, hey, gets some pressure from Casillas. Gets the ball out to Thomas Henley, but Brian Hall's right there. Gets him down. Got a Loss punch of ball. seven. Doug Robertson back to punt. 39-yard kick to Shepard. Had good coverage. Stanford covered the ball well. Great field position for the Sooners as they start inside the midfield strike. Car doesn't get anything on that play. Second and ten. Bootleg. Danny gets about three or four. And that was the final play of the third quarter. Oklahoma is really dominating the game as far as time of possession is concerned. And with three quarters down and one to go, Oklahoma out in front 19 to 7. We'll be back in just a minute. The fourth quarter begins with the Sooners uh, and the football, third and six at the Stanford 45. Any automatic here, I believe. Scrambles away. 
good quickness, and he throws to Sewell, and had a blitz coming. And that guy's all over the screen. Mm -hmm. There's the new rule. See, that would have been interference and ball right there, which is a – I'm glad they changed this because now we, they bring the ball back to the line of scrimmage, 15-yard penalty and first down. At the Stanford 30. And we had a great field position right here. We fumbled the football on a pass, but that's it, – it's a, a, a pass right there. That's a forward pass and a Utah pass, so they don't have their alignment, don't have to jump on it as a fumble. We talked to officials before the ball game about it. Just overthrows Shepard in the post route. So that's two passes in a row. See, it's third and 10. 15. Uh, now, it's uh, fourth down now. Yes, it it's is. Punt. It's time See, to punt. We threw two passes in a row right there and uh, didn't take advantage of the first and down, first and 10 at the 30 yard line. Took a couple of shots to score in the passing game. That's a great field position there for our defense to go out there. Pitch the ball and pitch sweep. Morris picks up nine. Stanford started this drive at the 10-yard line. Chase the ball, defense. First down now at the Stanford and 23. back in reverse. Murphy pushing out of bounds. But now, this is what confused me, Coach. They trail 19 to 7. Why are they running the football? They ought to be throwing. That's right. Just like that, but he caught out of bounds. Yeah. Anyway, got me there. <laughs> uh, my quickness and agility, I avoided him. <laughs> two or three, he never touched him. He throws a rocket through and down. That's a great catch. Pick up of 20. We got a lot of sets, don't they? They line up a bunch of boys. Good stick there, Brian Hall. Catches the ball, but he's stuck in good. Short pass, five yards. Give him that. Second and six. On the trap we'll back the side. Now, here's the one, I think. Was this the one they get third and one? They're third and no, all this isn't it. This is a third and four right. play. Good. That was third and four, and I tell you what, if he even completed, I think Brian Hall had him covered there. Mm -hmm. We had six defensive backs in there. Then they got to punt the football into the wind. And he hits the ball. Nice Pretty kick. good. Pretty good kick right there. 48-yard the punt. It gets into the end zone, so the Sooners start from their own 20. we got about uh, a little more than 10 minutes left in the ball game. We want to turn the ball over. Stanford turn the ball brings that play out. We don't so want to turn run. the ball over here. And the ball is Steve on trap play. Sewell, good tough running. Pick up of 12. Yeah, Stanford tries to play ball control with the pass, and Oklahoma does it with the run. Take another look at Steve Sewell. Good job of blocking picket, good trap. Tackle up through the hole, get out of his way. Brent Burks runs over Burks. But he picks up 12, and it's a first down at the 31-yard line for Oklahoma. And do set, double wing, and the ball to fullback. Count for Idell for about two or three. Smudge. <laughs> wing set, hitting Derek Shepard in a six-yard out route. Only catch of the day for Shepard. Third and five. And overthrows Buster. Buster had been first down right there. And we'll punt the football. Gonna punt the football, Robbie. Bad snap low on the ground. A good kick. And they didn't call roughing the kicker there. The ball did hit the ground. Good coverage. Just a good kick. And kick the ball and get it to 21 yard line. Winchester punted eight times Saturday. Averaged better than 42 yards a punt. Does a good job of fielding the snap there. People start crowds, got to realize he was knocked into him. He's rough with the ball. Two things happened. The fullback knocked him into him. He, uh, I think they changed that rule, but the ball did hit the ground. And uh, you can go rough the kicker because he is the ball carrier now. Tupper gets hurt and sprained right on that. He has a mild sprain. If we had any injury in the ball game, that the concerns you would be Tupper's. He drops the ball, swing pass. Tupper had to uh, play before a mild sprained ankle. Okay, he moved around pretty good. Right here, that guy, that scared me death. I thought the guy's going to make a great catch here. No, it's not later on. Hits him up at the goal line. Oh, yeah. behind he should have had that he one you're that. talking about. He hit yeah. him right in the hands. But it had been a great circus catch over the shoulder running full speed over his head, actually. Pay let's set and go. Brian Hall is back there. Trying to get Sonny position. Brown. Sonny Brown, good job, Sonny. 
play in center field. So Stanford has to punt it away again. This time a 45 yard kick into the wind and Shepard steps out of bounds at the 29 yard line. About eight minutes to go in the ball game now. Sooners still lead 19 to 7. Good squirt up the sideline there. Six or seven yards for Earl. Take another Good look block at block on the corner. Good Earl job Johnson. Guard trapping that. Good job, Pope. Secondary can't count for all those guys and getting the defense back. But pretty good block in the line of scrimmage. Good job of running right there on the power off tackle play by Sewell. Official got an official. He's even tackling. Even. An official had, to the side had something in his eye later on in the game. Maybe, maybe that's again. the one that can't see real well. Whether it's a forward <laughs> pass or not. <laughs> Back to flat. Don't fumble the ball, Earl, which you did. Gets Biting. the good bounce. 50 yard line. Third and three. Bust in the backfield. You notice our backs go the wrong way. You notice both backs. <laughs> so we had a bust there. So Winchester has to punt it away again. With the win, 48 yards into the end zone. So Stanford with the five and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Stanford starts from their own 20. Hey, flare pass. Back out of the back, pull back out of the backfield. Brian Hall tackle. Pickup of seven. Pitch, pitch sweep. One back set. Kevin Gatewood. There's Andre number six, Andre Johnson, the freshman from Houston, Texas. On the dive against the three-man line. This is uh, where you think you ought to be throwing the football. Right, I don't understand. Well, I guess it's too attempting. You know, when you see that, that's a good play. But Murphy rolled back, knocked the ball away. It's a fine play by Kevin. I guess it's tempting to run against three-man rush. But not when you're trailing by 12 and you got five minutes to go in the game. There is, this is one right there. I thought, I just kept thinking, score, touchdown, kick on side. That's what bothers you. They have, they have to score twice. Mm -hmm. Defense is playing good. And come on, come on, come on. See, that's the problem of not at three-man rush, four-man rush here, is you don't lose containment on the back side, and you don't have him contained. He scrambles around and gets a uh, good yardage here. Picked up 12. Player pass. Fullback, there's Bosworth, 44, making the tackle. Stansbury, 19. Second and nine. On the trap. Throw. Want ball tip. Good job, pass defense. Christian Hines, 32, sophomore from Lubbock. L.A. is in L.A., the Lubbock area. It's calling. Two. There's a fourth down, seven. It's the motion guy down the bank. A big play for him. That was a fourth and seven they convert. Pace sprints out. Uh-oh, pulls up some containment. Murphy and Steve Bryan and throws the ball and hits. <laughs> Ooh, Not a Bryan Hall right in the gut. And he wasn't expecting it. Not a smart play by Pace. Going to be run out of bounds here. There's more red shirts than there are white shirts over there. Brown had a chance oh. at it. Hall had a chance at it. Stanford guy never had a chance at it. Second and ten. That's a good catch. Emil Harry on the catch again. Third and one. Third and one. And get Evan Gatewood. Fourth and one. This is a big play for the defense. Late in the game, you know they're tired. Well, this is the first time we stuck. knew that there was predictable play. So we played normal defensive short yardage scheme there. How would you know that it was predictable? How'd you it was know fourth down right? one. I just didn't figure they were going to throw football there. It was fourth down in the foot. We figured they got to convert to the, try to score. Well, they got it figured right because uh, the Sooners held them, and Oklahoma takes over now with less than two minutes to go. Well, just hold on the ball. We just want to run the power plays. Two tight ends in the ball game. Danny won the bootleg and just take the, you know, let the clock run here. Yeah, don't hand it off and risk a fumble. Take a loss and punt the ball away. They used their last timeout right there. Winchester hits the ball. They have their catch that, I believe, right there at the 30-yard line, 29-yard line. Good kick. A back. Boy, he throws strikes. Strong arm, zings it. 
You know, the Stanford ended up with 294 yards total offense, 180 through the air, but a bunch of it came in the last right minute here. of the game right. when the outcome was already decided. So, one second. The defensive numbers are just more impressive. Goes deep in the end zone. I didn't think that was a good call. Our people in the press box really didn't think that. You know, there's a there's a pass interference rule that it would have the ball at the one yard line. That's right. So so in a Hail Mary pass in the end zone and to lose a ball game because of something like that, you know, when a guy might not catch the football, interference goes back to the line of scrimmage, fifteen yard penalty, first down. And that's a good rule, I think. Good coverage at Tony Rayburn. Sophomore from Millwood. Too much time. Looking at a three-man rush. We complete it to three-yard line. Ball game good. Time has run out. And Oklahoma wins their season opener, beating the Stanford Cardinal 19-7. We'll be back in just a minute. The performance for the season opener was not letter perfect, but a victory is a victory, and that's what counts. And uh, now you really have a tough test. Uh, coach, got to get ready, go on the road for the first time this year, and play a tough team at home, the Pittsburgh Panthers. Well, of course, Pittsburgh is one of the preseason uh, perennial powers of college football. They've had a great program the last 10 years. Johnny Majors went there, I think, in 1970, what was about 74, and was able to turn the the program around. I remember the first year Johnny told me that he recruited class of Dorset's class. They recruited 90 athletes on scholarship. This was back before they went to the 30 limit. And uh -huh. I think it was in the early 70s and uh, whatever year it was. But in that class, uh, he had 90 and uh, 40 of them remained. And that was a national championship uh, class of 76. Uh, Dorset was a senior. Uh, they are a, an outstanding football team. They are big, strong, physical people. They've had an extra week to prepare for Right, for the wishbone, too, which hurts us. But at the same time, their film playing Brigham Young doesn't help us because Brigham Young uh, was like a Stanford. They throw the ball 40, 50 times, and uh, Brigham Young's a very good football team. Uh, they defeated Baylor yesterday, yesterday uh, about like, uh, uh, surprisingly, I think it was a, a pretty good score, 40, what, by like 47 to 13, 13 something, something like that. Like that. So they're a very good football team. Uh, Pittsburgh will test our defense. I hopefully we can play with their offense in the rushing game, and we'll find that out. But I think that uh, obviously they will be a fine test for our offense. Uh, we have to improve tremendously this week to be able to play with Pittsburgh on defense because they are big and strong, they get good athletes, and they can run. Do you expect Spencer Tillman to be back for Pittsburgh? We have got to have Spencer back, uh, and I don't know how much he can practice this week. It's going to be very important for him to practice. Uh, for us to play well, he has to practice, and it helps Spencer. It helps the team. Uh, we, he's very talented and gifted back, uh, but he has a problem right now, and there's nothing we can do about it until he gets well, and only he himself will know that uh, when he can play. Okay. Good luck to you. The Sooners 1-0 uh, on the year, and now go on the road to play the Pittsburgh Stanford. Have a good week of work. Thanks for joining us. We're out of time for this week. Be with us next week for Oklahoma football. For Barry Switzer, I'm Robbie Robertson. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>